Jim Peacock. I started practicing karate at the age of 15, so this year will be 35 years. 36, actually. I had friends when I was growing up that got involved in a karate school in Manchester when I was in middle school, and I really loved it. I wanted to do it ever since then. And by the time I was old enough to get a job part-time, I was able to pay for my own lessons. My favorite form, probably form six, with form four a close second. I love how it makes me feel. I love that I'm learning something while I'm exercising and doing something that's healthy for my body. I love the camaraderie that I get from being surrounded by people that are like-minded, goal-oriented. I like the confidence that I've gotten from knowing that I know how to protect myself because I'm not the biggest guy around. So it's nice to have that kind of sense of security. I love helping other people. As a teacher, my feelings about it have definitely switched to that, as opposed to the original reasons. I think everybody should know a little bit of self-defense. I think in today's world, it's important to know a little bit about how to protect yourself. I think education, on all reasons, I think with the amount of information that's out there, I think everybody should be able to learn something. Nobody should be a victim by choice. I think competition is healthy. I think it's good for people to get out that may struggle with performance anxiety. I think it's good to kind of see where you may stack up against other competitors. I'm not extremely fond of it because I think the way that the karate tournament scene is can tend to be a bit biased and um, subjective to you know certain popular schools and competitors. But I think it's something everybody should probably go through. I'm a little more interested in competing with myself, but I certainly like to see how I do against other people. I'm Jet. Wayne. I am Samantha Schmidt. I've been doing karate for eight, nine years maybe. I don't know off the top of my head actually. <laughs> and considering I'm the one that wrote the questions, I don't actually know my answer to that one. Um, Ten years. Four and a half. Five. <laughs> so there's this one karate uh, place that was across, it's like across some county stores. This is karate in big letters on the side. And I was just like, that looks cool. I've never actually been in that school. I've just seen the outside. Um, I was just like, that looks cool. I kind of want to go there. And then I asked my dad questions. He was just like, no. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And, but then there was this guy that came to Mont Vernon. And he did this karate demo. It's, yeah. And so I was just kind of like, I, I'm going to do that. I want to do that. And so then I went home and I'm like, Dad, I want to do karate. <laughs> and we found, went to found the uh, Mont Vernon Karate Studio at the time. And I ended up joining. And that's how I got into karate. <laughs> uh, my parents made me. I didn't want anything to do with it. But now I'm glad that they made me do it. My grandma made me. Do I like karate? I like physical activity. I like doing karate. I like the physical exercise and the character qualities it develops. I like Ethan. Yeah, that's right. I know some self-defense so that like if something happens, like I was walking down the street and some guy tried to grab me, I could, you know, make him in pain and then he would probably stop. When you know kind of what to do if the situation happens, then you're not going to necessarily completely freeze. You can still freeze no matter how much training you have and just not quite know what you're supposed to do in a situation. Yeah, I'd, I'd recommend other people doing martial arts. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Sudokree Part 4. Go! I will live by the principles of black belt, modesty, integrity, perseverance,
Everybody was kung fu fighting. Those kids were fast as lightning. In fact, it was a little bit frightening. But they fought with expert timing. 